Hi, Matt B here and welcome to M2M, the channel that burns the nonsense. And welcome to this new series simply called Moon Hoax, where I debunk the most common moon land hoax theories, both old and new, from the era of Apollo from 1969 to 1972. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon, select all, and you'll be notified when I upload more videos. And if you'd like the video, then please hit the thumbs up. But the best thing for you to do if you comment below in each video, let me know how I'm getting on. And if there's any moon hoax theories that you'd like me to add, then let me know in the comments below and I'll look at adding it. So anyway, let's get on with the video and roll the credits. Number nine, missing Apollo 11 telemetry tapes. This has been around since the 80s, ever since this story came out from NASA at the time. It's less of a conspiracy than a small element of truth, but as was everything the conspirators use, it's grossly exaggerated and twisted to suit the moon hoax narrative. So what exactly happened? Well, to answer that, I have to explain what was missing and why they were missing. The story starts with these cameras. These were the cameras used for the TV pictures from Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin's first steps on the moon. Although they were a technological marvel for working in the near-perfect vacuum on the moon, they were not compatible of transmitting directly to the TV networks because they could not operate at the right frame rate or resolution. So the solution was simple, although not really ideal. NASA technicians at the tracking station had the live broadcast from the cameras on Apollo 11 play on a small compatible monitor and then they filmed the monitor screen itself with a compatible TV camera to broadcast to the TV networks around the world. So this is what we saw. But while this was happening, NASA were recording the broadcast from the Apollo 11 cameras onto one inch telemetry tapes, but only as a backup in case the broadcast should fail. Well, the broadcast didn't fail. So the tapes were not considered important enough to be kept safe. Why? Because what was on the tapes had already been seen by millions of people around the world and copies were made and kept by the TV networks. But here's the important part to this story. The telemetry flight data from Apollo 11 was not lost. Let me say that again to make it clear. The telemetry flight data from Apollo 11 was not lost. It was simply the original backup tapes of the broadcast. What likely happened was the tapes were reused and recorded over with data from other things, as I said, because they weren't considered important. Telemetry data from every Apollo 11 flight was kept and given to the various departments within NASA and the various organizations involved in building and developing the spacecraft rockets and systems in order to learn from anything that may not have worked or could have worked better. So there it is, another simple explanation and more fuel for the growing M2M fire. Now where did I put those matches? Ah, here they are. 